Well, I, I have to say, I um, actually it was really funny. I, I guess it was, I don't know if it was right, at, right before I started. It was the year before I started um, Anderson. I went to my five-year college reunion, and I was on a panel kind of like this. And I was the one married person on the panel. And I, I think my friend called me to participate in the panel because I was like the only one she knew that was married. <laughs> she wanted the married representation on the panel. And, and uh, I found, but with the... You're with, not a token, Joe. It's okay. I know, okay. I'm not a token. I'm not a, but with, um, with this program, I mean, there's a large percentage of people who are married. I think it's like, thir I don't know exactly, 30%. I was going to yeah. say 30%. Yeah, Jed would know. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of people out there. And there's several people who have gotten married while in the program who mm -hmm. got engaged while in the... Jed's recently engaged. You got uh, engaged well in the program, so I think um, it's nice to kind of have that camaraderie. And and in terms of family life, I, I'm uh, pregnant. I'm due the second week in August, and so you, you know, that I'm out very I know, well, I know. Way. Actually, we didn't even. We, yeah, you never know how long it will take. But we uh, we calculated back and figured what will it take for me to, you know, finish Be the safe, program. Dodge a window. But but we yeah, but I mean we all know people who have had children while going through the program. So you can definitely do it, and you cannot skip a beat. I mean, I've, I have a friend who had a baby a year ago. She's graduating on time. You can you can do it. So, I mean, I think um, there's lots of people out there that that have the personal life outside of business school that they care just as much about, if not more. And I think um, really what, what makes it work is having a supportive significant other and somebody who's there to com just as committed to your education as you are and willing to work, work around your schedule and be patient and do all those things. I'm very, very lucky in that regard. And um, while I think my husband is, is probably breathing a sigh of relief alongside me <laughs> that I'm graduating uh, in time, he, he also is very supportive through the program. And I, I think that, that that really is what made a big difference for yeah. me, to, me to feel comfortable as I did in terms of going through it and, and feeling good about it. And I, I think there's a lot of truth to that. When my fiance and I met, I was in the middle of school and, and she had just finished her MD. And I wanted to let her know that, you know, I understand you're out of school right now, but I have a year and a half left. <laughs> and I know you know what that's like, but I want to make sure you're okay with that for the next year and a half. And she was, and that's been, been a fantastic experience. But you really do need to have that balance. You need to be able to get away from work and school and go out and have fun. And, and the school does a fantastic job of putting on social events, either for your section or we have uh, two annual parties that we do every year. There are lots of things going on in that regard. And like Jill said, just having that network and that balance. I moved here from Michigan a year before I started the program. So I didn't have a lot of friends. I was able to meet tons of people when I came into the program. And to me, that was kind of a good thing because I wasn't giving up a social network that had already been developed. How some mm -hmm. of the people who've been here for 10 years and have friends and have to not necessarily shut all of that off, but <laughs> put it on the back burner for a while really amazed me because that's a hard thing to yeah. do. And I know if I were back home, that would be impossible well, for me to do. And even if, I mean, you're married, too. Joe's married too. So I mean, even if you're not married, you maybe it's your friends you're relying on or your family or so. I mean, I think just having that significant other, whether it's romantic or whether it's through friendship or family, just to have to balance you out, I think really helps. It, it really does help. And so, uh, Judd, as mentioned, we, uh, we were on the same team for quite a while there. So we not only had our core team, we had all the significant others of the core team. Uh -huh. So, you know, we were, like, really rooting for this guy there. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, um, it's, it's what you choose to invest in. So uh, they, uh, the balance of work and school is hard. Um, I'm not going to lie. That, that's definitely, it uh, takes a lot of work, but... It really can be done. Um, your, some of your friends are amazingly understanding when you call them up and you haven't talked to them in like a couple months and you know, you're like, hey, I'm free. I've got some time. You want to go hang out? And they're like, I would love to see you. Um, so uh, I talk to my friends a lot on my commute. So like my friends and family, they were, I almost always, my mom couldn't that's pretty awesome. much count. I mean, I talk to my mom on my commute Such down. She's two hours later in Chicago. I'd be on the 101 or the 405, and I'd have this whole conversation. And it was—I probably talked to my mom more while going through FEMBA than I did before <laughs> because I just was on the road. So I'm like, well, I might as well call her. I mean, I called my friends. I had—I I was able to keep in touch with people pretty well, just largely because I was could do it while I was driving. So wow. it was—it was a good, 
a good byproduct that I wouldn't have imagined, but it actually worked out okay. <laughs> Fantastic. We, uh, we, my wife and I found that one of the things that worked out really, really well when we wanted to hang out with a bunch of people is we'd start hosting like an afternoon barbecue or something like that. So instead of like, hey, we're gonna go hang out with this couple, it's like, we're gonna get eight couples and you're all coming over and we're gonna do a big old cook off. Just maximize and, all the, yeah. You know, just, and just have a good time with it and just being specific about you know, if, it's, if your social circles are really important to you, then invest in them. Yeah. That's very simple. That's how life works. And, and you so. have the same opportunity with the folks here at school, too. We had numerous parties with, you know, the, the friends we had in our sections or in our groups. And, you know, whether you have people outside of school that you rely on or your networks inside of school, they're available just as much and can definitely sympathize with the things you have going on. Yeah, yeah. Joe's come out a couple of times when we were doing a little barbecue action. The, so. other, the other thing I would say, too, is that... Um, I was really surprised at how supportive people people were about um, recognizing you had things outside of outside of school that prevented you from maybe driving here for extra meetings. I mean, we I had a lot mm -hmm. of we didn't really talk about this, but I had a lot of um, phone conference calls, and that worked fine. I mean, we and sometimes I would come down for a meeting if if we all felt we needed to, but there we were real I think pretty um, resourceful about working around people's. Um, work, family, life balance, and still getting the job done. And I think, I think you will find with people in the in the FEMBER program, we're all pretty resourceful people. I think mm -hmm. you kind of have to be to do a program like this. You have to be a little creative, yeah. and you have to be intentional about your time. And I think everyone supports each other in that regard. Yeah. At the same time, a lot of the times the FEMBER program is really for the people who just think they can do more. You know, there's some ways, and yeah, I didn't really want to give up a salary at the same time because my wife's also working right, nonprofit, yeah. <laughs> which is not super lucrative, and that's fine. Um, but uh, you know, it's a it's it's a tough juggle, but it's still a good juggle. So yeah, uh, no, it's I true. It's not right. It's right. not like easy all the time to, no, no, to no, put regret, your stuff. No, I don't, I don't regret, regret it at all. Any of it for a second. I mean, it's no, been it's a great experience good. and a lot of work, but. You get way more out of it than, than you'd ever imagine you would coming in. No, that's, that's, yeah, I think that's a good way to put it.